Hey guys, in today's episode of DaVinci Resolve Beginner Tutorials, I am going to be teaching you how to track objects inside of DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is a very powerful tracker built into it, so it's very easy to do, just right here within the program. So this is a clip we're going to be tracking today. This is the clip my girlfriend and I went camping in Nebraska which is a whole story because we weren't intending to camp in Nebraska at all and then we ended up doing that but that's not what we're talking about today so in order to track this we're gonna pop over into our colors panel once we are here we're gonna select the object that we are going to be tracking I'm gonna go until that can is nice and in focus I'm gonna zoom in on it with my scroll wheel I'm just gonna scroll up and I'm gonna click my scroll wheel to move around so we're going to be tracking this. We got a mask it. So we're going to grab a window right here. We go ahead and click on that. We're going to get our pen tool and we are going to draw a mask around our can't. Easy to do stuff. You just click and it makes a point. We're going to zoom out. You can see that our cans are nice and selected. Now that we have those cans selected, what we're going to do is click on our little tracker tab right here. Go back to the very beginning. And we're going to hit Control T to track. Otherwise, we can just click on this track forward button right here. And then it's going to follow those cans until they are off the screen. And then if we watch this back, just hit play, you'll see that it's got those cans pretty well tracked. Say we want those cans to not look at all how they look now. All right, we hate the way these cans look. I cannot stand the color red. We want these cans to be blue, of course. So now those cans are gonna be, oh, whoa, oh, fit. All right, there we go. So now if we check those cans out, they're blue. We've completely changed the way Campbell's does business. No more red, blue only. It seriously is just that easy, guys. So I'm gonna show you another example right here. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna change that. We're gonna make a new node just so we don't mess with stuff. You guys don't, you don't have to do this, but it can help. All you have to do to do that, right click in here, add node, corrector, and then shift drag it onto this line and it will pop right in there so in here we are going to find a frame where we can see the whole tent boom just like that I'm gonna grab our windows again we're gonna grab our pen again and we're gonna draw a mask around oh why aren't you drawing your mask there we go we're gonna draw a mask or a window actually my bed around this tent. I'm gonna leave that post out of it. Move on up and up and up and then we're gonna go around the tent. And I'm obviously not being very careful, so we might have just like a little bit of spill around the edges. But for the most part, this is all you have to do. And then you go into the tracker, control T, tracks it forward, and then we're gonna need to track it backward as well. So you just click on this track backward arrow right here. So now if we, uh, if we watch this back. Oh, you didn't see anything. Cause nothing happened. Change that hue. Let's make that tent a nice healthy pink color. Hit play. The tent is a nice healthy pink color. Wow. And you're gonna maybe need to play around with your mask a little bit when it crosses into this zone here. It's gonna change those colors, but that is easily fixable by using a qualifier. So we're gonna qualify this color, and then we're gonna play around with it until it's exactly where we want it to be. Change our saturation, change our saturation this way, change our luminance. 
so that we get all the different parts of that tent. And since this jacket is not a part of the qualified color, it shouldn't be affected when it passes into the mask. If that didn't make sense, if I went too fast, please tell me in the comments down below and I will make a whole nother video about how to do qualifying. So we're going to go back and then, oh, it's still getting in there a little bit. Not as bad as before, but we have a pink tent now. We don't want a pink tent. We want a yellowish tent. I'm just going to switch the hue up. Now it's a yellowish tent. Back to blue. If we want that to be red, we can drag our offset to red. And we have an ugly looking red tent. It's that easy. Aha, yes. So you can see there at the end, when it goes out of focus, that blue bleeds through. So all you'd have to do is make your mask a little bit bigger to deal with that, and you're good to go. That's how easy it is to track in DaVinci Resolve. So now that you have access and knowledge to this powerful tool, get out there and use it. Also, make sure you subscribe to the video. Uh, bub. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's more cool stuff like this coming about DaVinci Resolve real soon. See you in the next video. Have a good one.